Teacher migration is one of the topical issues being discussed at this year's JTA conference as the Education Minister continues to grapple with the situation. Just last month, Acting Chief Education Officer Terry and Thomas Gale revealed that teachers are being sought from various countries such as Nigeria, Ghana, Philippines and India amid the local teacher shortage. However, newly installed President of the JTA, Dr. Mark Smith, is proposing that the issue can be resolved when the remuneration packages for educators become Become more attractive. How in 2024 is this still a struggle in Jamaica? Minister, the majority of our teachers will stay if they are better paid. He added that on average, a teacher makes 35 U.S. per day, and that is far from a livable income. It is why he is tasking the Ministry of Education to lobby for teachers as a trend cannot continue. Our schools are struggling to keep pace with the migration of highly skilled teachers often in the primary and STEM steam areas. Our present reality is a precarious one at best. Despite possessing the local capacity within our teacher training institutions, you often can't get people through the door. We're seeing dwindling numbers. The profession is just not attractive. Meanwhile, President of Education International also weighed in on the issue. He emphasized that in order to combat teacher migration, their working conditions must be improved. The improvement of working condition is very key because the panelists emphasize the need for decent working condition and competitive wages for our teachers. We believe that this will help to attract and retain the teachers in the profession. We believe if you continue with your teacher professional development as part of the recommendation of the United Nations High Panel, you will be able to address some of the problems of demands and supply in the country. In his keynote address, he noted that the EI stands ready to assist the local education ministry. As Education International, we stand in you in addressing these challenges and we provide toolkits on Go Public Fund Education campaign. The toolkits will assist you with a multifaceted approach, including improving teacher salaries, working conditions, investing in teacher training, and exploring innovative solutions. We also have developed toolkits to help the lobbying for the implementation of the recommendation from United Nations Secretary General's high-level panel on the teaching profession. 